Hello, welcome to Forsyth Library at Fort Hayes State University. This video will help you define your topic for a research project. When you are given the option to write about anything you want, it can be overwhelming, as well as exciting. This tutorial will help you develop a broad topic and narrow it down to something you can write about. Something to keep in mind is that a research topic is a question, not a statement. If you already know a bit about your topic, either from personal research or what has been discussed in class, it is easy to start out with what you think you are going to argue. But remember that you shouldn't know the answers for your topic until you conduct your research. The first step in defining your topic is to reread the assignment and take note of any requirements. For example, is there a specific format that you need to present the information in? Do you have a required number of resources? Are there specific types of resources that you have to use? Is there a page limit or length of presentation requirement? Knowing the requirements will help you make better decisions later on in the research process. The next step is to do some background research. Once you have a general idea of something that interests you, use your textbook or articles you read for class, use library resources like Credo or CQ Researcher from our reference databases to get a summary of the general topic. Pause the video and give yourself time to write down some possible ideas and look for background research. Once you have a general grounding in a topic, it is time to get specific. One way to get specific is to create a mind map using Microsoft Office, Coggle, MindMup, or even just drawing it out on a piece of paper. For example, if you had to research something involving climate change, your background research would tell you that climate change can be broken down into energy production, carbon footprints, global health concerns, deforestation, and rising sea levels. From there, you can start asking yourself specific questions, such as the five W's. Who, what, when, where, why. This is a great moment to pause the video and do some mind mapping of your own. Now that you have done some general mind mapping, you probably have a decent idea of what questions you want to answer. When you write out your topic sentence, there are a couple of rules of thumb that are helpful to keep in mind. A good topic question is clear, focused, concise, complex, and arguable. For example, the topic sentence, should we utilize rooftop gardens in cities to reduce the effects of urban heat sink, is clear. The question is focused on a specific practice of putting gardens on rooftops. The question is concise, but provides complexity in the social and financial implications. And you can argue for or against making rooftop gardens in cities the norm. Now that you have a topic question, it is time to reread the assignment. Does your topic still answer the prompt? Is your question too big or small to answer in the allotted space? Is the topic too obscure to find sources on? Do you find the topic interesting enough to research and write about? If you don't find the topic interesting, there's a decent chance that the person grading won't find it interesting either. As a quick recap, when coming up with a topic, there are five steps you should take. One, figure out the requirements of the assignment. Two, do background research. Three, narrow your topic by asking the five W questions. Four, draft your topic question, and finally, reread the assignment to make sure you're meeting all the requirements with your topic. If you still have questions about generating a topic, you can get in contact with us through Ask a Librarian. 